All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, this mountain house. Uh, that's how I call it. Uh, it's actually a conceptual project uh, designed by uh, Iranian architect. Uh, I'll show you now his um, his uh, profile on Instagram. You can see uh, a lot of different interiors and a lot of cool stuff here. So I, I actually saw this project from there, so that's why uh, I thought it would be interesting to give the credit uh, to the architect and also uh, to actually show you how we can model this uh, in Rhino. You can see here a couple of sceneries. Uh, there is the one with um, with the, like summertime, winter time, and here we can see a little bit of detailing here. And I'll show you how we can actually model this structure in uh, in Rhino and how we're gonna approach when modeling such such tasks so first uh let's uh let's actually import this image into running viewport so that we know approximately the proportions of the of the building so i'm gonna just import here uh the house let's let's increase it a little bit and let's see so here i'm gonna lock it first and I'm going to approximately draw some helper lines to actually help me with uh, with my modeling later on. Uh, so uh, this will be just, as I said, just th these will be just the guides that I'll be using uh, in order to get uh, to get the proportions right. So here you will see that I'm mirroring this because this in real life this is this is. Um, it's supposed to be uh, the same angle and here I will also use a middle snap here and I will snap it to the other side like that and I think that would be enough for now maybe just to, to uh, actually feel here this the thickness to get the idea of the thickness of these slabs uh, and from there on uh, we can uh, we can actually see if this will fit. Let me see. I think something like this would be better. And let's mirror it here on the other side. Uh, here, of course, at the bottom. Um, we also want to add a little bit of thickness to it. So let's see. Uh, let's see how much uh, would be would be good to offset. So let's try 0.5 too small 0 0.8 something like this 0 0.8 I'm gonna do this on the on the other side as well and here and here uh, then let's see how uh, thick these small pools are I think 0 0.4 would be enough let me check yeah 0 0.5 0 0.5 and now uh, what I will do, I will actually um, just reference these uh, these poles there. Let's see. Let's say that there's 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, something like this. Let's say that this is fine. Let's move it over. Let's rotate minus 45. Actually, you can see now that it's it's probably not exactly 45 so let's go with something like this let's mirror it again and let's mirror this guy also uh, so I think uh, yeah we have what we need maybe we can also uh, slide these guys over here in the middle so that we uh, get the better a better view there and I'm gonna also copy these two because I will assume that they are the same the same distance so let's go with something like this let's go scale 1d let's extend on both sides and let's mirror this as well here okay so I think we actually have uh, something to work with 
and of course uh, we want to uh, here create the divisions for this glass like so of course you would want to keep the same distances so that's why I was using the reference point and here also let's copy this something like this and um, we can basically use uh, the same elements to mirror them on the other side and of course now one last thing that I forgot to do is uh, if you want to lower the opacity of the image so you see better you can do that here and uh, then we can see what we forgot to copy over this guy and then uh, let me let me see okay so we what we can do next is let's check uh, the image a little bit closer and let's see if the divisions uh, are right it seems that they are so you can see here uh, the windows have some kind of uh, some kind of uh, canopy on top of them there in this area and here you can see some uh, cables running so we're gonna also uh, create those cables and we're gonna create these divisions for the glass as well so let's do that now um, so if this is my uh, this is my place for windows I know that this will be in the half so that's why I use this use this as a reference and now I'm just gonna copy the same distance for the glass over and let's see if we're gonna get the correct number of glass yeah that that's pretty good maybe we can slightly move it like this but uh, there's one cool trick you can do uh, in this case uh, if you're if you know the number of windows or let's say one two three four five six seven eight what you can do you can actually create a line here you can say divide and you can say eight segments and you will hit now get the the um, the distances for the for the lines so basically you can draw those lines from there of course you need to have the the object snap turned on for the uh, for the point and then we go line and we go up and now you can just copy it over here boom 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 and that would be it you can do a trim now to trim the rest and now we have them nice and, 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 and ready. And of course, we want to mirror them on the other side. It's the same distance, we know that already. And uh, the last thing what we would uh, want to do is uh, maybe create that, uh, that division here on top and on the bottom. So that would be probably somewhere around here. I assume so let's extend this guy and let's do that here also and I'm gonna mirror it from there to there let's trim the, these two and uh, of course let's uh, let's yeah we can do them here as well and let's take these two out and of course now uh, we would want also to mirror them on the other side as well and let's see that uh, that now we have some base another thing we can do is create a rectangle here so let's go down let's mirror this and maybe extend it like so scale one like this and that would be it i think let's do now the trimming something like this and you can see here where the trimming ends let's say that it's something like this all right and let's do that on this side as well 
just to have them the same. Uh, so now at this point, uh, we actually uh, crossed over everything that we need. Uh, another last thing we can do is we can actually use those wires that we talked about. So I'm going to trim this area here and let's say that this will be the middle. So I'm going to uh, mirror it here like this. And also let's create this guy on this side. Like that, like that. Mirror again. And there you go. So uh, now we have the 2D basically laid out. And um, now let's, uh, the goal is now to basically start from this and uh, build up, uh, build up the house. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. First thing, uh, let's go and let's, uh, let's create here uh, the fillet on top of there and here. Uh, seems like there is two lines here that we don't need. We can try select duplicates if we have anything we don't, so that's fine. And now let's just trim a little bit these pieces. Let's clean them out a little, a little bit so that we have proper things to work with. So now I'll just be trimming here the top like so and these guys as well. Okay, so now we have this, uh, these guys there. Uh, what we can do is we, we should actually um, connect all of this so that we can uh, have uh, one closed polyline which will be much better so I'm gonna join it now uh, and you will see why if I cl if I if I select planner surface now uh, you will see that I got actually the, the the plane already and if I try to do planner surface here it will not work because I don't have uh, the I, it's not closed polyline so that's why you would want uh, the polyline to be closed so we'll do that later but now uh, let's let's just use this one because it's already done let's mirror it here so we know it's it's correct uh, these wires we can leave out for, for later on let's for example put them on the layer uh, and let's change the name layer to wires um, and we can uh, we can later on play play around with these for now we can lock them so we don't touch them, but we can do anything else with the rest. So uh, let's continue on. So I'm gonna continue trimming here. I'm gonna trim uh, all of this because this is uh, what is left from this structure, uh, from this structure here. So you can see that now I'm trimming, I'm getting this shape nice and smooth and this one as well here. So. In this case, I will trim the top here and I will leave it like this. And of course, I would want to extend this line a little bit here so that I have this area enclosed. Uh, what I can do here, I can uh, use curve boolean to get this shape and now it's closed, you can see. So now I will just like move it, let's say minus 10 so that uh, just so that I can delete uh, the the other lines because I don't need everything else I just need these two so uh, I want to trim everything here like this and I will move it back 10 and it will be ready and of course we can do this um, we should do this on the other side as well but in this case I will just extend it here and uh, that would be enough extend like so and now I'm gonna trim everything else uh, like this. We don't need this at all. Like this. Okay, so now we have the bottom. We have this curve, we have this curve, and we have these two. And this one. Now I'm gonna click join. And one thing here you can do uh, when you click when you click F10, you will see that. Uh, here they, they, it doesn't have the dots but here it does that's because we actually create a new line in this area 
so uh, there's a cool way that you can eliminate this you can either delete it but if you have a lot of them it's much simpler to just uh, type simplify curve and now once you click control points you'll see that it disappeared so uh, it will do that for the straight lines uh, only so let's join these guys on top let's check to see if they're clean they are and that's what we want and now let's uh, actually mirror this place mirror like so and there you go so now uh, at this point uh, what we can do we can play, play around a, a little bit with the windows and with the covers uh, and uh, what I suggest you do is just create one one element and then we can use it as a block and that would be the most efficient way so let's say that this will be 0 0.05 and here on top uh, here let's say there there and now I'm going to just trim it I'm gonna trim the rest of these like this and at this point uh, we can again just uh, use curve boolean and we can click inside the region that we want to keep okay we missed it let's go again like so press enter and you have it so let's do minus 20 and let's delete now these guys and let's bring this guy back 20 and there you go so now uh, now you have this as as one surface so what we can do is we can actually let's right away create a block so first i'm going to create a surface i'm going to say plan a surface and then i will actually uh, extrude this guy a little bit like so and uh and then i will probably create some kind of glass there this will be my glass and uh of course uh, you can extend this glass it doesn't matter uh, as long as it's matching there like so and let's say that this will be one one of my windows so I'm going to uh, click on block type block and now I'm gonna create a base point here and I'm gonna say window one and now uh, I'm just gonna go to the top again let's mirror it and let's see if uh, yeah this will fit probably on the other side but uh, these windows I'm not sure they will fit let's check let's turn off the center so let's go here and go to the middle one here and yeah this one is this one fits so let's uh, place it here also like so let's mirror on the other side and now let's see if we can do the same for this guy and let's see if they fit let's move it like this so as you can see it doesn't fit exactly so the way that we can do is we can actually explode this block and then we can uh, use the command solid points on and we can basically select all of these points and let's just bring them here like so uh, and at this point uh, we can basically create a block again because this we exploded the one before and now you can see here window 2 so now uh, now we can just copy this window and everything that we do on on this uh, on this window will happen uh, to all of them in the same block like this and now let's just mirror all of this over like so and there you go let's create the surfaces for these guys and let's create the surfaces for these guys using planar surface here and uh, now of course uh, we need to create these uh, wooden boards elements so uh, that's basically uh, the last thing we need to do on the facade so and yeah here we need to create a glass as well so let's create this glass first 
Uh, before that, let's actually uh, give a little bit of thickness to these uh, to these um, these bars here. So I'm going to just extrude them up like so. Let's say that this would be enough. Later on, we'll play around uh, with the with the actual real thickness. Uh, let's create also these two and I'm gonna just slide them over. We don't know exactly the thickness, but let's say that this is going to be uh, the beginning and then we will modify it later on. And of course, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's go with curve boolean and let's create uh, those boards there and there. I'm gonna say planar surface. So we have these surfaces there. Let's do the same here. Okay, now I notice that this guy is doesn't fit here. Uh, let me see. Well, this is the same. Well, it seems that this one is bigger. So in this case, we will explode him and we will do scale 1D. And let's bring it there like so. And let's group it. So we know that this guy is a group and the other ones are uh, are blocks. So I'm gonna do curve boolean to all of this now. Like this. I'm gonna say plan a surface to all of it. And let's uh, now use these surfaces uh, and let's mirror them on the other side like so and now we have something uh, more concrete to work with now let's actually flip this out uh, let's bring it 90 degrees and let's bring uh, this part to zero coordinates like this Okay, uh, I forgot that we need to unlock this guy first so that we do all of them at the same time. When something like this happens, you can do control Z uh, a lot of times because Rhino actually memorizes a lot of um, back steps so you can come back to whatever um, mistake you made and, and correct it there. So at this point, uh, let's see how big, how thick this guy will, would, would actually be. Think something like this would be enough yeah I think that's fine uh, and now of course I will uh, just uh, modify a couple of things here uh, let's bring actually let's bring everything uh, out just a little bit it's better to bring this out like so so that there's something like some, some kind of support. And uh, at this point, of course, uh, we also need to add a little bit of uh, detailing. So uh, before doing that, let's actually uh, uh, deal with, with, uh, with these guys here. We also need to think about how we are going to uh, play around with the wires. So I'm gonna just use set point command. Let's go with the Y direction. And let's bring it here exactly and um, I think that actually this should be perpendicular let me check yeah it is okay so um, that being said let's also create it to be perpendicular here let's do curve boolean and I just want to create uh, this surface there I'm gonna scale 1d and, and increase here let's say something like this and now i know here that this wire i can see here has some kind of uh circle there some kind of um cylinder so let's create that cylinder here in the middle i'm gonna start from here i'm gonna do circle like this i'm gonna bring it let's say somewhere around there 
let's go to the perspective let's change the seaplane and I'm gonna just extrude it something like this let's cap it and uh, let's move this over and let's go actually into that view and let's scale 1d a little bit like so I think that's enough now I want to actually create uh, I want to create uh, the center so I'm going to type area centroid for this element and I will have this uh, I'll, I'll have this guy as my center so I'll know where I need to place it like this and uh, in this case I'll just use for example let's say this middle point there and use it to trim it and I'll delete it so now what I did, I just basically created the place for uh, for this wire. So it's actually um, going into the structure. So yeah, of course, we need to give the thickness to, to this element. This is like the structure element. So and also, of course, uh, we will want to give some thickness to the to the wire as well. So I'll do, let's say, 0 0.1. Let's see if maybe it's too big. Yeah, it's too big uh let's let's do less let's do 0 0.03 and let's say that this is enough maybe it's too too big but let's say for the purpose of this tutorial that this would be the thickness and of course uh now we need to create um, the bottom area as well so i'm gonna select planar surface here i'm gonna extrude the surface and now I'm going to scale 1D in the same direction so it, it gets the same thickness on both sides. Mm, at this point, uh, we can actually uh, use this and we can uh, mirror it around this uh, structure, like so. And I think we can even mirror this. Let's see what will happen if you mirror the wire and the structure for the wire. Yeah, I think that's fine. it's not exactly in the same position but i think this should be fine something like this and now let's of course mirror all of this on the other side so that we don't need to do it two times one is just enough like so and this guy we forgot and that's it now we have that structure uh, nice and ready i'm going to select the wires here i'm going to I'm gonna hide them because I don't let's say that we don't need them anymore we already created uh, all the structure so the next thing would be uh, to actually mirror all of this on the opposite side so let's mirror it and we have that structure on both sides uh, and then uh, we can actually play around and add a little bit of more detail you can see here on the bottom that there is some substructure so we can actually uh, do that so let's let's play around with that so first thing uh, here uh, it, it, it is showing here that I'm gonna I just I just uh, uh, did the command select uh, select curves and I'll move it to, to, to the new layer let's say curves here That way, I don't. It doesn't interfere with my with my work here, like this. So let's let's say that I want to go from this line here, perpendicular. Okay. So now I'm gonna see how many these grids there are. One, two, three, four, five. So there is basically five grids from here to here. So I'm gonna say divide five, and this will be basically my grid okay so now uh th this is the uh the 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 time when i can actually compare and see if if my proportions are right I can see here on the image that these proportions are like it seems like as it's a rectangle 
so this means that my thickness of the house is too big so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually uh, measure this it's six so I'm gonna measure it here six as well and uh, that will be my my point uh, so I know uh, where to how much the house is thick so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna basically uh, move all of this for the same amount so uh, the way to do it is uh, to actually uh, use solid points on for everything solid points on I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna move this area here and this would be uh, this would be the correct proportion for the house so I think it should be a little bit thicker but all right um, okay so at this point uh, at this point we have the grid here so what I can do now is I can actually uh, create a rectangle here I can select this and I can isolate everything I can go on the top view and uh, what I can do now I will basically create that substructure so let's go and let's uh, offset this uh, let's say 0 0.1 or more 0 0.2 something like this and let's play around with uh, this guy and we'll say this 0 0.1 but on both sides and we're gonna do that on the opposite way uh, on, on the opposite direction like this and this would be one of our um, grids let's do a curve boolean and let's select all of this and this would be my structure so what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna uh, basically uh, let me check what we can do with this yeah let's create surface and let's give it a little bit of thickness and now we know that this guy is supposed to to be here in this area uh, but I can see from the image that actually it's in the same level so what I will do is I will actually cut out this area for the same distance so this means that I'll actually create the hole in the in the floor so that I can put my construction planes there so let me see let me show you what I mean here I will join all of these guys and let's just slightly extend these guys on the bottom so that we don't have any problems when we start to cut this plane so I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna mirror this because it will be the same on both sides and let's do a uh, extrude curve and now let's do a boolean um, split and what I did now is cre I created this uh, like a plain cut there so that I can insert my my uh, structure there there it is and I'm gonna basically just copy it a couple of times so that uh, we get that structure nice and easy like this and let's mirror it here on both sides and there you go that's the structure that we have here uh, so uh, now we're gonna uh, let's see what we did let's select the curves let's hide them and of course uh, we would probably want to close close off the doors here this will be probably be the entrance and that would be that would be it let's mirror it mirror and there you go so that would be uh, that would be our uh, mountain house I uh, hope that you like the tutorial uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, or comments and if you think that uh, I should create uh, more videos like this or any other types of videos uh, you can actually put the suggestions 
for the future videos in the comments uh, below and I'll make sure to, to respond to you as soon as possible. So until the next time, thank you again and see you soon.